This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Newport, Rhode Island, weighing 195 pounds, David Ali. David Ali making his AEW debut and Taz, it's always, it's always a huge opportunity for somebody when, when they get to, to wrestle under the, the AEW banner. Yeah. But David Ali is gonna have his work cut out for him here tonight. Absolutely, I mean, it's a, it's definitely gonna be a tough debut, uh, you know, I, but I, I give the young man some credit. He, he seems like he's confident. Five, four, three, and his opponent to be accompanied to the ring by Jake Roberts from Hearn, Texas. Weighing 273 pounds. Oh boy. Go to on. murder oh, 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 monster. Oh, oh, Lance. Oh no. Archer. Oh, damn. Oh, just nearly beheaded. Dylan, our one of our video production assistants, one of our video <laughs> editors, cracked his ass. Okay? Nearly beheaded and bepantsed him. Thank God that didn't happen. Man, I'll tell you. Uh, how mean is Lance Archer? Man, I'll tell you what, I'm jealous of Jake Roberts. There's, there's Jake right there, swiftly getting down those steps. But I'll tell you, having a guy like Archer, he wants to get up. He said, hit me, hit me. You got to hit him, man. David Ali lays in his first show. Oh, my God. Straight boot right to the chest. Nothing fancy. Beat down City here. Archer just those, those toe kicks into the chest of David Ali. Murderhawk sends, oh, Ooh. just a trip, and he, he flung his head face first into yeah. the canvas. Just face planning David Ali. I mean, it's not that, that's what, I, that's what I, I really like about Lance Archer's style. Look at his forearms across the chest, pounding the man's chest cavity as hard. And, and Jake Roberts just smiling at what he sees. Don't blame him. Everybody. This is Lance Archer's first everybody. match back That's no shit. since Double or Nothing, a night where he attempted to crown himself TNT champion. Unfortunately, things didn't quite go his way. And now, Taz, I think the Murderhawk's even angrier than he was before. Oh. Yeah, I definitely agree with you on that. It's pretty obvious that Lance Archer is motivated and more violent than ever, and Jake Roberts has him locked and loaded since not winning that TNT Championship. Oh. And I'm sure that Archer's got to be furious seeing the success that Cody's having. And look at Lance Archer just... Look at the speed. Rocking David Ali in the corner. I mean, you know, the man was a, a former Division One quarterback. I'm sure JR told you that 60 or 70 times on Dynamite, so, you know, it's well documented. Billy gets his ass in here. I'm kicking Billy's ass, too. See that? Now he wants to kick Billy's ass. I wouldn't mind seeing that. And the thing about Lance Archer is that he will always back up that talk. He never backs down from a fight. And right now, he's just having his way with David Ali. I mean, there's been many points in this match, not to be Captain Obvious here, that, that Archer could have defeated David Ali. But right now, to the point you kind of alluded to, Excalibur, it just seems as if Archer's trying to send a message because of what happened, not becoming the first ever TNT champion. And he's livid, he's furious, and he's pissed. I, I dig it. Oh, Ali. Wow, look at David Ali. Goes up and over the top. Kicks to the, kicks to the outside of the leg. Big uppercut. uppercut. Yeah, strong uppercut. He's surprised. You got to keep moving, David. Lance Archer. Oh, boy. Oh, oh I think Archer was playing no. awesome as he caught Ali in the corner and absolutely planted him. Six foot eight, just about 273 pounds is that man right there, the murder hawk monster. When you have that size and along with the speed, you know, and the athlete that he is, it should, and the mean oh, streak oh, along oh. with Jake Roberts. It's just he's got a plethora, plethora of reasons why he should and is always dom dominant. Oh! Archer holding Ali's ribs open and just kicking him across the ribs and in the chest and the lungs and then well, actually in the face as yeah. well. What happens is when you lift the guy's arm up, you open up those inner costumes, the little muscles around the rib cage. So, that, you know, that, when you kick a guy there while his arm is up, you just break his ribs very simply. And now Archer, oh! God. Choked. We've seen him do that kind of like a, a, a back throw, like a suplex from a choke. A single-handed throw, yeah. yeah. it's very unique. Man, oh man. This, I'll tell you what, this David Ali, oh boy. 
You know what this is, dude. David Ali. Oh, buddy. Thanks for coming, but your night is over. The blackout by Archer. Cover one, two. No, he he pulled him up. Went old school right there. He wants to punish the man more. He loves to punish people. He had the match won, and now he's looking for that claw, that EBD claw. Oh, just, oh. Slamming the man's skull against the mat. And now the cover, one, two, three. No winner of this match, Lance Archer. Special kind of rage in that man. I dig it. And so does Jake Roberts, he digs it too. And Taz, we said Ali was gonna have his work cut out for him here tonight, but I'm not sure either of us expected this level of violence from Lance Archer. Yeah, no, I, I, I definitely didn't. I mean, I, I, you know, we know whenever we see him compete, he's very aggressive, he's very intense, he's very dangerous, is Lance Archer. This young man, David Ali, put up a, a hell of a fight. It's just, just tough against a guy like that, an athlete. You know, like like Lance Archer, who's coming in very motivated. Oh, my oh, God, he's, he's not, not done, done with yeah, him. Yeah, he's not done, dude. He's got Ali up and, oh, my God. Man. Everybody dies. Continues. Oh, now was, now that would have been, been awesome. Bryce Remsburg. Bryce. That would have been great. Wow, an impressive performance here tonight by the Murderhawk Lance Archer.